This is an introduction to double-sided incremental forming, brought to you by Northwestern University. Intricate dyes are commonly used for the manufacturing of sheet metal parts. DSIF utilizes generic tooling to form parts, and consequently has the potential for significant time, cost, and energy savings. Let's take an inside look into DSIF. Just 12 miles north of Chicago, Northwestern is located in Evanston along the shore of Lake Michigan. Northwestern is one of the nation's leading private research universities with annual sponsored research awards in excess of $600 million. The Advanced Manufacturing Processes Laboratory performs state-of-the-art research, of which includes DSIF. Initiated in 2007 and built in 2011, our Generation 1 DSIF machine comprises of two forming tools, a command station and a control system. Currently being built, our Generation 2 DSIF machine utilizes a tri-pyramid design. We're ready to make a part. We begin by designing the part using CAD software. Next, we generate a toolpath utilizing scripting routines within the CAD software. Using the finite element method, we can simulate the DSIF process to ensure the prevention of fracture or excessive thinning. Everything looks good, and now we're ready to manufacture the real part. Lubrication is essential to prevent tool wear as well as to achieve an excellent surface finish. During forming, we monitor the forces at the tooltip, as well as the current progress of the toolpath. Here is our finished part, and a close-up of the surface finish, and a few other parts that we've made. For more information, check out our website. And thanks for watching.